Welcome to Digital Presentation Topic 3.3.2 Align and Connect Pictures. So we can align and connect pictures and graphics in very similar ways. First, let's deal with the pictures. The graphics will come next. So here we have one picture. We will add another picture to do the comparison. So say this one. And we'll reshape it so it's a similar size. You'll notice as I am moving it, there's a little horizontal red line. That's an indication that the centers are lined up. We can see that with a vertical line too. Here the centers of those two images are lined up. We can also highlight the two images. Here we've actually highlighted the background, so let me use shift and click to select just the pictures and not the text. Then in our arrange menu we can align left, we can align right, we can align them in the center, which doesn't do much when we just have the two of them. But if we take the two like this, we can also you know, center them on the page horizontally and center them on the page vertically. We can create a group and distribute them horizontally so that all four of these objects are spaced out horizontally or distributed vertically so that they are each a quarter of the way across. So we do have these options. Let's center them all vertically even after they've been arranged. So all of those options are in the Arrange menu, but you will have to select them beforehand. Now when the Program of Studies refers to connecting them, that connect term, again, that's a term that's primarily used the way are in the Microsoft PowerPoint app or software package. Here, instead of using the term connect, we use group. So if we group them, and we want to work with both, we no longer have to select them individually. The software will treat them like a single group as though they're always both selected at all the times. When you're done with that, you can ungroup them and go back to working with them individually.